Good evening, everyone. Happy New Year from Seho and I. I want to thank you to, uh, for coming to this evening's broadcast. It will be a brief one. And I want to say that you're not going to be seeing my face on videos as much as you have in the past because I'm trying to work more on the content. I am needing to spend more time in prayer. And I also have to go back to work. I have to return to work. Now, I just have a lot going on with me personally. And I want to say that it is well in Jesus' name. Now, today, we just got done taking a walk. And the weather here in Tennessee, it is unusually warm. And I have to admit that I have been given a download from the Holy Spirit today that the weather will no longer be as it has in the past years. It will be utilized as a weapon in very detailed ways to bring about the new world order. So that means there will be flooding in places that there should not be flooding. There will be destruction of crops as soon as they start trying to break through the soil in the spring. The weather patterns are going to be more intense. They're going to be more destructive. And the purpose is to come against the very substance of the USA, uh, of our economy, uh, of our food supply, even to contaminate our water supply. I do pray that you are storing water. But having said that, the Lord has made a proclamation to me this morning during prayer and he has asked me to release this proclamation to you. He said to declare to the people that the year 2023 is the year of the shepherd. Now, if you are someone who loves the 23rd Psalm, then you know what the ins and outs of the shepherd image of Jesus Christ are. I mean, you may even understand more deeply that David was a shepherd and a king, and he was raised to eventually shepherd God's people. Now, the 23rd Psalm is steeped in rich imagery of the life of a shepherd in the Middle East. It's a beautiful thing to spend time watching the shepherds in the Middle East, how they will steer their flock using a little flute or rocks in their pocket. And uh, I realize that most of you are living in a modern society, but I want to encourage you at the beginning of this new year to really take the time to study what a day in the life of a shepherd entails. And I want you to read some commentaries. Perhaps you can even watch some documentaries on being a shepherd. There is a reason that Jesus wants us to be able to relate to him as a shepherd, just as important as he wants us to see him as a bridegroom or as a father. It's equally as important to study out why he sees us as sheep. Now, I don't want to make this message too long tonight. It is uh, not to be a teaching message, but it is to encourage each of us to study, to show ourselves approved unto God. And there is a wonderful book, friends. I want to uh, ask you if you could try to get your hands on a copy of it. It is a book by Philip Keller, and it's called A Shepherd's Look at Psalm 23. There are well over a million copies in print. I don't know how many copies I have, but as a shepherd and as a pastor, he does take a reader. He takes his reader through some very powerful insights, his firsthand knowledge of dealing with every phase of sheep management. And I highly recommend this book. I also encourage you to seek out other resources. There are so many out there. And maybe one day you're going to be called to testify to others how Jesus has been the shepherd of your life, how he has been the shepherd of your soul. And this would just be like formulating your very own personal sermon. Friends, we need our shepherd in this year, 2023. And he will guide us through the obstacles that the new world order is going to be throwing and in front of us going forward. They're going to throw all sorts of stumbling blocks at us. And our job is to stay close to our shepherd. We need to be so close to him that we can hear his voice. 
and his voice, as you know, is best heard through studying his word, through spending quiet time away from the distractions of this life. Just envision David sitting on the side of a hill, listening to the Lord and watching over his sheep. We need to learn how to hear the Lord's voice so that we can learn how to navigate in this matrix. And the Lord is going to show you how to walk in his paths of righteousness in this year, 2023. He's going to help guide you how to raise your family in this fallen world. And my desire and Seho's desire is that everyone out there will draw close to the Lord Jesus Christ in this year of 2023 so that you will be able to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. That is the best New Year's resolution ever. And also, have you committed to memory learning the, the 23rd Psalm? I want to encourage you also to do that this year. It's not, it's not hard at all. All right, friends, I will talk to you again real soon. I pray that you are having a very beautiful first day of this year and that you will have a godly new year in Jesus' name. All right, good night.